Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. When when it when that shit um that's historical shit. When that shit hit the hit the now was it whose idea? What who said to change it up? That was you. What from no. the Hunters Point to the SRC? no no I'm black that was on them. He, he said to, somebody yeah, told no, him. Didn't he, he? Yeah, because it, it was took, some kind of issue. No, he said he wanted to bring everybody together. He wanted together, to bring the remember? whole city together. Because, yeah, to because they was already trying to squash all they all shit. The yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, And he yeah, said yeah. that was one way to bring all these yeah. different... Dope-ass idea, man. Yeah, because, yeah. like, one thing we got to understand, too, with these artists, too, that make them... I'm, I don't want to take nothing away from the artists now, right? But I do want to say that they have a lot of help. And being with the independent shit here, we had to be, like, our marketing, our own creative marketing. We had to be... Our own publicist, we had to be our own everything. So we are from the home of that shit. I just want motherfuckers to know that Man, he literally. thought of that. Like, let me include everybody. I can make this song about my neighborhood, but it'd be a lot better. Better if it it made Man, it better. See, it what, made it more digestible in Oakland. To what be honest, kind of helped him was seeing the totally insane shit out. Mm. And I think that kind of helped him a little bit. Like the shit a little bigger than what we think. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like. RBL was like right behind us. So right, right. He already had his idea, like, though, I need to change that to make it more citywide. Yes. Right. And that shit worked like motherfucker. It did. <laughs> that, that shit, that shit. shit, that shit knocking on your door after you, um, no. they found you know out why? that you did that? Motherfuckers don't know who I am still to this day. Motherfuckers don't know who I am. Only reason they know now because I'm DJing. I'm out there a little bit more in the community. But but so me was but me I, I wouldn't. When we was check it out when we was back then working and doing what we do. Right. I go to a little breakfast spot called B&J's over there. Just, you know, get to my order. Boom, boom, boom. The motherfuckers over here having a full conversation about me. Not they don't even know I'm standing right, right there. there. That type of so shit. So how'd you do that so many years? You stay at <laughs> home and just... Stay at home, minding my own business. I was never a hustler, never a gangster, never none of that shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? Even I did, when social know, media came out, I did you music, didn't even want to start... On social media, I started a little page where... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't be tripping on that. Like you, I told you, you earlier. You know what's crazy right, is, man. you know what's crazy. <laughs> I'm you know not that dude, crazy man. Is, every giant. nigga, every nigga has repeated, nigga, I ain't drunk. I make the beat when I'm drunk though. <laughs> every nigga, if you ain't if, I mean, if you over 35, <laughs> if you never said that you wasn't on the scene. <laughs> right. I'm just keeping it real because like that shit right there was like, like to me, and 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 you introduced yourself. Mm -hmm. Like before niggas was having uh, drops or, 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 or tags on their beats. You know what I'm saying? And That was a tag like a motherfucker. That was a tag like a motherfucker. I can't get away from that shit if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. Uh, That's what's up. How was it? And you just mentioned something hella important too. Like we need to be documented. Is that you're, you're at your house, right? Mm -hmm. There's members of... RBL, 11-5, mm -hmm. Cold World Hustlers. Yeah. Totally insane. Mm, from time to time when they come down. But they could all be possibly they crossing another paths. another group called uh, Females out of East Palo. Female Funk. Female Funk. They used to be down there too. They, they, it, it just used to be just all of us. Just That's together crazy. Just they shooting dice. Just having fun. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was you ever into the cars and shit? No. None of that? Mm -hmm. I think that I think you was very smart for all the shit that you had. <laughs> like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you know, I, my so you life have nothing flashing. My life consisted of getting drunk, making music, fucking with bitches. That's that it. was it. That was it. Damn. That was it. Damn. I Hold respect on. it. I, I was respect. a little nigga at the time eating. <laughs> I, was a nigga, I was a little nigga at the time eating. Yeah. yeah. So um, over the years, you never got in legal trouble. You never. Nah. Mm -hmm. Stayed free all that. Most That's of, cool. Stayed away from most of it. You know, baby mama shit. Mess, you know, oh, yeah, shit little, that, little shit, but, but nothing made. Nothing, 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 nothing where a nigga guilty you had to do no time now. That's what's that up. Who, who you um who you like out the city and that's currently going young? Because, I mean, we mentioned you actually having a studio right. in Lakeview at one time. Uh -huh. And one of the biggest young artists in the game, like 24 Karat Golden, Mm -hmm. Is from that neighborhood, right? right? So, like, how do you feel? And that is not that's not street rap because fuck, 
We have these arguments all the time, right? Me, Stretch, other motherfuckers, we be having these group texts and I fight for 24 because I felt like a lot of Frisco people wasn't giving him credit because we so, and I'm going I'm to explain it because I don't want to knock them for doing it. Right. But streets, the streets have always controlled rap. Right. Right. Because it, as big as Hammer was, yeah. niggas don't want to talk about the shots Short took at him. Exactly. So That was happening. Yeah. Like, let's not ignore right. this shit like these niggas was friends growing up. Nah. Like, well, you know, man. he had 50 million dishes in a big, big old band. band. That ain't that me. Ain't me. Right. I'm from the oh, You know what I'm saying? Right. But when you look at it now, that's the same thing that these niggas would be doing to Golden, right? They don't even discuss Golden. Golden is so far gone. Yeah. They try to take him out of the picture. They don't even talk about it because they can't. They don't know what to say. He on a whole nother level from these niggas. Like... Like, and I don't understand, like, I don't want to be there. I don't understand it. <laughs> no, but listen, I'm gonna That's tell right. you what's the I'm gonna tell you what's the craziest shit. Because uh-uh. I'm not call, I'm not saying this about nobody in particular, but I know how groupyish niggas get. And after I was say, screaming his name to the fucking mountains to everybody, he had probably like uh Valentino and his other little songs that was like the, the big songs, right. right? But then he drops a song with Fabio Foreign. Yeah. And I say, okay, you got a song five hundred four. Y'all niggas, that yeah, that's a street nigga. Right. Y'all from the street, but he's from New York. He was smart, right? Mm-hmm. Then he turns around and now he has, then he has a song with Future, right? And now it's like, oh, these niggas, I would love to have a song with Future. Any of these niggas, a Future is just as pop as Golden, right. like you see what I'm saying? But because there's a street element to him, I want us to get over on the street that you even have to be street, even if you're from the street. Exactly. You just sat up here and told us you didn't participate in none of that none shit. None of that shit. And you was around all the shit. Mm-hmm. Right in the mix. I mean, shit. You could have chose sides. Man, I could have stepped in all that shit. But why? Why cut off the little money I'm getting from everybody? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. What <laughs> sense do that make? I mean, it ain't millions of them, but... Hey, hey, only, hey, put only, only thing, only thing TC got to say is, hey, it ain't your day, nigga. Uh, nah, Don't slide up uh, over uh, here. Nigga, it's I not need, your day, nigga. Yeah, bro. I need <laughs> you to come tomorrow. I need you to come tomorrow. Like, come on, man. Um, Speaking of that, did you, when Booby had his thing going, did you ever say, because he... Let's give him credit. He's a gangster, but he had music. He mm-hmm. did. He put out music. Did you ever sell him any music? Who? Me and Boob worked like a motherfucker until I left that studio I was working at. And then, oh, shit, they went to hell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm but saying, me and Boob, man, me and Boob was cool. Shit. So did you, <laughs> did you, get, did you make any beats for uh, Bart, B.A.? No. No, you didn't. I was out of there. Work. You was gone. I was gone by then. They was working Still at the studio. See, I had the studio... Me, Reg, and Race had that shit was looking like BMF by the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it got different when I left. My niggas was wild, and I don't know what the fuck happened when I left. <laughs> Definitely didn't want no person um, that. I was working there. Me, Reg, and Race, where I did all eleven five stuff with. Okay. Um, he moved the studio from his house to the little spot on Third Street. He got the building, and he started just Reg just started doing some other moves like okay the eleven five shit. We was in renegotiation trying to get him a better situation with Dog Day, so it was stopped. Okay. Then Boob and him start coming in. So he kind of just cut 11 5 all together and just start fucking with Boo. So a couple of songs, me and Sugar Bear, you know, we working a little bit. The shit just was getting different. Right. My antennas go up. Yeah. Dude was like, oh, well, T, we ain't going to need you here no more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, no problem. I'm gone. Me and Enhancer hooked back up over in Filmo. That's why I went back over there with Enhancer. And after that, all hell broke loose. I, hey, <laughs> thank y'all, brothers. Hey, hey, y'all got me out of there in perfect time. Would, would you mm. say, would you say would you say that um, Reds probably did the opposite of what you norm what you normally mm-hmm. do? Yeah, definitely. He because his situation turned out bad. You though. ain't never supposed to chose size. If it ain't your beef, stay out of it. Yeah. That exactly. ain't your, yeah. Stay out of it. Don't make one crew more than nothing. No. You cheat everybody equally. Stay business. It's a business at the end of the day. We not gang members. Bro. Right, right, right. I'm not a gangster. Right. What the fuck right. I look like? Oh, I'm right. with these dudes. No, I'm with these. Nah, fuck all that. That shit turned out bad. Like, Real bad. You know what I'm saying? And, and just, believe me, the heat was on to pick a side. Nah, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, so that, I, that that actually happens though. Nigga, I, proposition you like you with us. I mean, 
you'll hear little comments like that. Right. And it might not be directly from the artist. It'll be from the entourage, right, like right, I said. Right, Like, no, man, I ain't putting no sign. You ain't just <laughs> to make me. Yeah, like, yeah. What you, what's going to happen? Yeah. That's at crazy. the end of the day, and at the end of the day, when I see all the dudes, I'm cool with everybody. I'm yeah. good. Day, right. yeah. Man, I'm good, man. Everybody speak good. Of, everybody speak good about TC. Hey, I, I worked hard for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you've been from Frisco. And stretch bit from down there. How'd you guys hook up? I don't even see where that, that guy back there. Is that right? I didn't <laughs> see where that link up came in. Um, what was the name of that label? Y'all's? Who? Um, where Juicing them was. Oh, Get Paid. Get Paid. No. Uh, well, Will and them was working at Stretch. Oh, SMC. SMC. All that came from SMC. SMC put out a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is that how, how you? Is that how you make glasses? Stretch. stretch. Oh, stretch. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you you did some well, songs. You're a stretch guy. We did a couple yeah. of little things. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing too much. What about you and Tretch? Did y'all work? Because yeah. I know that's your, your folks. Shit, got about five songs of Tretch. Some old Not shit. By nature, Tretch. Uh huh. Okay. Got about five. He um. Okay, Tretch come to town. The boy Danye called me. I got, I got naughty by nature with me. We're going to KMEO right now, but after we done, we're coming to your house for the studio. Okay. At the time, I'm like, who the fuck is Don yet? <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, one of my clients brought him into one of my clients' class. I couldn't think who he was. I was like, nigga, you lying. Whatever, nigga. Come on through. I'll be here. I'm turn on the radio, naughty on the radio, whatever, whatever. Okay, cool. Get to the house. I'm driving around. to probably coming from a bitch house somewhere, whatever. So I get home about 10 o'clock in the morning. But I... 30 minutes after that, the mix pulled up. Mm. Tretch, Danye, and this other OG cat that was with Tretch. Mm. We just kicked it, man. Sat down, kicked it. And, um, I was like, how long are you here? He's like, man, for like two, three days. I'm like, oh, okay, so we can, I said, I'm fucking around, throwing it out there so we can work, huh? He was like, yeah, you got some people. He said, yeah. I was like, he's like, how much they willing to pay? I said, man, these cats ain't got a lot of money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Five, six hundred. You know what I'm saying? We'll get Kept you a little real. something. Real. Shit. He's like, all right, we're gonna come, we're gonna come back. And they went, he ate chains called whatever, whatever, whatever. That's sound check. They was doing Yoshi's in Frisco at the time. So they came back to the house. He was like, man, shit, man. I had about five, six rappers lined up, ready to break the nigga up. <laughs> yeah, like let's go. That nigga said, <laughs> like for real? I was like, bruh, throw the beat on. Throwing beats on these niggas just start knocking them out. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. At the end of the night, he was like, bro, I ain't never did three, four on the night, though. Like, he was like, bro. <laughs> he was like, shit. Like, man, he said, man, you a couple extra thousand. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. He said, man, call everybody you know. Give me their names. Y'all come to the show tonight. Gave him everybody names. About 30 motherfuckers. He got everybody oh, in. Love. Yeah, got everybody in. End of the night, they do hip hop array. Everybody up on stage. Mm. <laughs> you know, good dude, man. Good dude. Uh. Come back in town about a couple of months later. They was in sack. He, he reach out, whatever. He reach out in touch. Like, Come on down to sack. Chop on my boy Cletus Limo. We going down there. Mm -hmm. to get us all in. He's like, I ain't got nothing to do after the show. Show start, nigga. He bring everybody out on stage. I had people there from one of the bars I worked at. They was out there anyway. You know how they do yeah, uh, yeah. Thunder Valley with yeah, the yeah. old school concerts here. Yeah. So a lot of people, my, like, Frisco was out there. We got the cabana and shit. We kicking it. He come kicking with us or whatever. Shit, show time, man. We got about 30, 40 people with us. Mm. Like, come on. We like, everybody like, where we going? Just, just come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, next thing you know, everybody on stage. He, they said, y'all got to stand back while they doing the show. I said, well, Hip Hop Array, come on. He going to ask all y'all to come up. Same thing. All did the same shit. It was cool. It was At the end of the night, yeah, we got video, all that shit on Instagram, all that shit. Uh, Facebook and shit. He, um, he came to the bar with us, Sam Jordan. He's over on 3rd Street. Okay. Shit, he came in there. Nigga, it was, happened to be one of my OG partners' Wild Wild Birthday. Okay. Shit. That nigga showed out that night. That nigga came, performed, all kind of shit. Damn. Free. Right. Free. Damn, that's Fucking love. around. Come on, man. We stayed up to about four in the morning, kicked it out there. That's what's Had a good time. That's love, man. That's now, man, you know, still, man. That's from being a good nigga, though. You get that kind of man, shit. Man, come on, man. You, good you know what I'm saying? Hey, he is one of the genuine dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
Shit. And then, like, the next day after that, the nigga plane got canceled or something. They were supposed to fly into Cleveland or somewhere. And they called me that morning. Like, man, where you at? It's like, man, shit. Just let more. You ain't on your flight, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was rid of your ass. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm hungover, nigga. <laughs> Come get me, man. I got to pick the nigga up downtown. Me and Peanut, my boy Peanut. That's pick the sure. nigga up, man. We, I, let's go get some food. Nigga, ain't nothing no more. It's a trip. Nigga, we don't do that here like that. Nigga, it's not 11 in the morning. No, we don't. My boy said, nigga, go to Hooters. <laughs> That's all we got. Went by to Everham Mall, hit Hooters. We had a good time. With nobody in there but us. It was a trip, bro. Oh, damn. Nigga, flight didn't leave till about 3, 4. We you know, just kicked it. Like, nigga, it's a cool dude. Anytime he come out this way, he hit us up, though. For real. That's, like, That's it's love. It's cool. I'm just trying to stack racks up like you. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair run like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer, I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga, we don't save.